You may drive by the arena every day and you may have heard the name Chaffetz, but who is Dr. Richard Chaffetz? He's a man who became wealthy founding an employee's assistance program in Chicago. But he loves our town even more, and Frank Cusimano is here with Chaffetz at Story, and you've probably never heard it before, Frank. He is uh, something else. He is a billionaire who loves the Billikens and basically all things St. Louis, and you're about to see why. He strides into the building like he owns it, which he does. Wherever the Billiken basketball team is, you'll likely see Dr. Richard Shavitz at practice the day before a game, in a post-game press conference listening to Travis Ford, and always courtside during a game, and often talking to the officials. It's not a foul! I'm polite about it, but I'm happy to tell him when I don't agree with the call. And sometimes the calls are coming from left field, if you ask me. SLU asked Dr. Shavitz for help in building a new on-campus facility 12 years ago. He wrote a check for $12 million. Shavitz Arena is a state-of-the-art facility. Last year, Shavitz kicked in another $15 million to SLU, thus the Richard Shavitz School of Business. Dr. Shavitz will never forget what SLU once did for him. Parents were divorced, didn't have any money. Uh, my father had made a oblique uh, you know, agreement to fund my tuition. He didn't. Um, I found out I was going to be kicked out of school because I didn't have the money to pay. I went to talk to the president because that's what the Bursar's office told me to do. Father Reinhardt believed in me. I promised to him I would pay back the tuition and also pay back the school in a big way. So I really appreciate what they did for me at a time of need and slews my passion and I do everything I can to pay back. Dr. Shavitz's enthusiasm is not limited to slew in our town. He's a believer in the future of the entire city. Well, this is a great city. Forbes ranked St. Louis number two on its list of entrepreneurial cities. I think there's tremendous opportunity for entrepreneurs and businesses here. It's a low-cost environment. There's an enormous amount of money coming into the city for residential, retail, et cetera, buildings, and businesses should come here. It's a great environment to do business. Now, Dr. Shavitz created a little bit of a stir the other day about the NBA in St. Louis. He said he's not pursuing anything, but if the NBA were interested in our town, he would love to be involved because he loves basketball and he loves St. Louis. And what were the chances of that? Be, uh, be probably realistic. Probably a long shot. I got to tell you, though, at games, he's so fun to watch because he's got this running dialogue with all the officials. <laughs> they all know him, and he's not nasty about it, but he's going back and forth. It's fun to watch. And he founded the company in Chicago, but does he live here full time? No, he lives in Chicago, but he just comes in for the games. Oh, wow. Kind That's of a, a cool life. Yeah. Yep. Frank, thank you.